The first day of freshman year. I felt anxious. I didn't know anyone. I was lost. But I knew one thing. I was a lion. A lion. A lion. A lion. Through the four long years of high school. We've all felt it. We are proud of what we've become. Through our losses. Our setbacks. Our failures. Our triumphs. Win or lose, we have succeeded. We are proud. We are a family. We are more than just actors, football players, musicians, baseball players, gamers, volleyball players, artists, soccer players, more than cheerleaders, students, teachers. We'll fight for the old softball. And the blue and the gold. We are one. We are all striving for excellence. I hope I can look back on these four years and say, I am proud. 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 To be a lion.
all the boys call me booty lips. They say my booty is fine, say it's real, real nice. Say they like it in the winter, say they like it in the fall, say they like it outside, they even like it in the mall.
done? We are ready. Are we live? Hey, what is your most embarrassing moment in high school? Freshman year, I tweeted something about my teacher giving me too much homework, and the next day in class, she had the tweet pulled up and called me out for it, and it was Miss Mate, so sorry about that. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment was, let's see, so in robotics, whenever there's like issues with the robots on the field, we always just do like these dances, like really basic dances, like Macarena. And I was doing the cha-cha slide and I was like one of those days where I didn't really care and I was just like going for it, dancing like an idiot. But I didn't know that there was a film crew there filming for this TV show that had this little part about robotics. And so I was on like Detroit TV dancing like a total idiot. I pee my pants a lot. <laughs> well, I was driving home from Olive Garden with Sophie Jurgen, and I all of a sudden didn't feel good, but I thought I could make it home. And then all of a sudden I threw up all over my car and Sophie made me pull over and her mom had to come pick us up because there was throw up all over my car and that was not cool and I got it all over her new Birkenstocks. Freshman year Hoko, that was just a mess. Freshman year all in general. Over. Freshman year in general. Thought that was funny so I peed my pants on my like cloth seats. My car. <laughs> it was at the very end of the dance and we were exiting the stage and all of the chorus girls were like holding each other's hips and like scooching out of the stage, I guess if that makes sense. And every single one of us fell. We all tripped <laughs> and we like, one person fell over the set and then we all just fell on top of that person. Sophomore year, my table was pretty rowdy. As we all were sophomore year. And um, <laughs> I exclaimed something very loudly. Um, it was a bit um, profane. And Mr. Siskinen, bless his heart, walked past me and he heard it and we shared a laugh. Um, but that wasn't embarrassing so much as it was iconic. What did you say? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. And there was a wet spot on the floor and I didn't see it. And I completely fell in front of everyone who was walking behind me. Oh man, what a shame. And he said, oh! <laughs> I said, mm-hmm. Is that good? Yeah, I mean. Are we supposed to hop into each other's answers here, or? Yeah, yeah. You oh. Just oh, because we're best, yeah. best friends. Don't touch me. So you expect yourself to change in the next four years, obviously. Yeah. You expect to be a different person. Yeah, because, you know, when you get to college, it's such a different, uh, such a different world. You know, I'm going, to, I'm going to Michigan State, and it's a huge campus, enormous. So many people, so many different types of people, so many perspectives to change my perspective. And like in college, I'll just feel like one fish in a whole sea of people, a whole sea of fishes, my bad. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of jumped off my metaphor. I should have stuck to my metaphor. Anyways, but. Uh, right now. <laughs> just put that in. <laughs> you know what I think about a lot? So, Southline is such a small fish <laughs> see, right like south line is just so tiny but i feel like we all like the chances of us being in south line is so so low and um i feel like it's for a reason you know like maybe yeah. i was meant to grow up here it's just crazy because i could have ended up back in pinckney and it have been a totally different experience but like i'm glad i ended up here i met so many good people here oh. biggest difference between freshman and senior year <sighs> I want to say maturity, but it, that's a lie. Uh, freshman year, I was definitely super shy, didn't talk to anybody. And if people know me now, I'm very loud and uh, sort of obnoxious. The difference between freshman and senior year, I would say, is um, walking around the school and kind of knowing where to go and knowing everyone. Freshman year, you're a little bit crazy and you kind of get lost sometimes. and. Um, senior year is kind of just more laid back and you can just do what you want. Okay, so if you can go back in time to first grade Hunter, first grade, you know, first grade, <laughs> oh, no. what would you say to them? 
don't sweat the small stuff because in the long run it's not gonna like matter you know? wow inspirational i try proud of you um i'd say like don't care about what other people think about you just like do what makes you happy i definitely agree with that like don't worry what other people think just do what you want what will you miss the most about high school <laughs> um i think i'm just gonna miss seeing all my friends all the time i didn't grow up here i came here freshman year but i've just gotten so close with everybody and i think i'll just miss seeing them everywhere and like when i go off to college i'm not gonna see them as much so i'm gonna miss that a lot a lot of my friends that are going to other colleges that would be That'd be about it. Yeah, there's a lot of people we're never going to see again. And I'm, I'm really going to miss them. I'm going to miss seeing everyone that I love every day. I just, there's no other class that I would have wanted to grow up with, you know? Like, I feel like I can talk to anyone in, this, in our class without, like, you know, being judged or whatever. Uh, I think what I'm going to miss most about South Lion is Going to school with so many people that I've just grown up with throughout the years, especially people from elementary school and so on, just really like growing a really hopefully a lasting and bonding relationship with these people because they all just mean so much to me because they're basically a family with me now. Everyone in my grade, I just really appreciate that they've been in my life and all have actually probably helped me in some way or another. I'm just really grateful for all of them. I think I'm going to miss that. There is a universal truth we all have to face. Whether we want to or not, everything eventually ends. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've always disliked endings. Last day of summer, the final chapter of a great book, parting ways with a close friend. But endings are inevitable. Leaves fall, you close the book. You say goodbye. Today is one of those days for us. Today we say goodbye to everything that was familiar, everything that was comfortable. We're moving on. But just because we're leaving, and that hurts, there's some people who are so much a part of us, they'll be with us no matter what. They are our solid ground, our North Star, and the small clear voices in our hearts that will be with us always. Oh, I knew life would be